In this video I will show how to make a servo steered Lego car. By all modern cars, a servo motor helps with the steering at low speed. Otherwise it would be difficult to turn the steering wheel partly because of the wide tires, but also if the car has front wheel drive. The Lego car can be made as shown here. The servo motor is glued to a Lego block and the plastic cross is mounted as shown here, where the motor is set at an angle of 90 degrees. For the car we use a Wukong motor board that must be well charged. The red motor is connected to M1 on the motor board. The cables are available in two versions. Here you can see how they are connected. You can also see how the servo motor is connected to S0. The Wukong board is turned on by pressing the small black switch. Press twice to turn it off. The finished vehicle looks like this. To be able to use the motor board, you need to download an extension called Wukong. This small program can be used to make the servo motor steer right ahead when turned to 90 degrees. Here it may be necessary to unscrew the plastic cross and turn it into place. The car must be controlled with a microbit that uses the radio function. The program for the car's microbit can be seen here. The block to the right can receive numbers. The number 1 makes the car drive forward, the number 2 makes it drive backwards, while another number makes it stop. The block to the left responds to a signal that contains both a text, name, and a number, value. If the text is rotate, the servo motor will be prompted to rotate a number of degrees corresponding to the size of the variable value. The program for the transmitter looks like this. The lower blocks respond to a press on button A and or button B. Button A sends the number 1, which causes the car to move forward. Button B sends the number 2, which causes the car to drive backwards. Pressing both buttons causes the car to stop. The acceleration x function measures how the transmitter is tilted. If it is tilted completely to the left, the value is minus 1023, and if you tilt it all the way to the right, it is plus 1023. The map block converts these numbers to degrees between 45 and 115. The steering can now be moved using the transmitter as shown here. And then we are ready to go for a ride.
On the motorboard there are four LEDs that can light up in different colors. Their numbering is shown here. This program causes the front LED to shine white when the car is moving forward and the rear ones to shine red when driving backwards. Another variation could be that you have to press button A several times for the car to drive at full speed.